What's up everybody, Camero here, and welcome to part 21 of my How to Make a Pokemon Game tutorial series. In this episode, we're going to be looking at how to import Gen 6 Pokemon into our game, you know, Pokemon from X and Y. So I'm going to be telling you where you go to download the sprites, and I'm also going to be showing you where to download some of the PBS files for Gen 6 that will replace your current ones, as well as I'm going to be showing you some extra resources like audio for your Pokemon Cries, some of the icons, and uh, some other stuff. And uh, with that said, let's get into it. So the first thing I want to tell you about was the Gen 6 sprites. So there actually is, I'll put this in the description, there is an ongoing X and Y sprite project on Smogon called the uh, Smogon XY Sprite Project. You can download the version 1.1 release here. And please, when you use them, credit it as the Smogon X and Y Sprite Project. They have a whole list of, um, like they have there there's a whole list of people that have all been working on it and it's been a huge community effort and they've done a lot of really nice work as you can see when you download the sprites like here's an example with the greninja so once you go and you download the x and y sprites right here um you can throw them in your game so here's our game folder um i've actually downloaded them all already and uh, take a look. You can see some of the Mega Sprites that they've got. And uh, then uh, we'll start right here, 650. And scroll down a bit. And then select them all, basically. And uh, then let's go into our game. Go to our graphics. Go to our battlers. See, and since we have Elite Battle System, this is going to be a little bit trickier. But Elite Battle System is pretty smart. Um, since this is 16 and 16B and 16S and 16SB, Elite Battle System can understand the formatting for that, so if we just start the game, it'll be like, hey, there are some that aren't following the format. Do you want to follow the format? And then it'll sort them into the folders properly. So that's cool. So we've got all our sprites already. There are all the sprites. There are maybe one or two that are missing. You can keep checking in on their progress um, if you want um, on this Google Doc here. I think one of the ones that's missing is Pumpkaboo. I could be wrong. But, yeah, for the most part, this is all the sprites. Yeah, I think there's one missing. But, yeah, yeah. And that, so that's step one done. We've got all of the sprites here. The next thing that needs to be done is we need to actually have the Pokemon defined in our PBS files. So you're going to want to go to the Relic Castle Gen 6 project. I'll link this in the description as well. It's by Medge71. He's done two versions of this. One of them is for up, um, updated for version 16, which is the Pokemon Essentials we're using as well as there's an older version which is for 15.1 and that has a whole lot of downloads this can be a lot this can seem kind of confusing just know that there are a lot of resources here at your disposal if you choose to use them but what i'm going to be using is strictly the pbs files from the version 16 um download and um you can download uh battler sprites from this as well if you choose so there are there are alternatives um, the reason that I like the Smogon X and Y sprite project is because they're all in Pokemon black and white style and they're consistent. But if you want to change the style for your game, you can actually download the battlers from the version 16. And uh, I'll show you what they look like. They look like uh, the 3D um, from X and Y. So this is what Bulbasaur looks like. If you if you do like this, you can take these and use these. Um, but I personally... I'm not, but this this also does go all the way up to X and Y too if you choose to download it. So that's that's kind of cool. If you like this style, then you can definitely go with it. So you got options. This will be in the description too. So once you have the PBS files downloaded, you're gonna want to download this. Um, I downloaded it right here um, and I just threw it in. Um, you're gonna want to replace your types.txt, your tm.txt, pokemon.txt moves.txt, items, and abilities. If you have been adding your own Pokemon to the game, this will be kind of sketchy for you because this will overwrite basically all the changes you've done. Um, the reasoning is it will go Pokemon 0 through, I think, 722, which is Volcanion, or 721, and uh, overwrite all of them. So it, be very careful if you want to still have your own custom Pokemon. So let's just take all these new ones, drop them in, and replace. Cool. So that uh, that's updated all of our Pokemon, all of our moves, all of our items, all that good stuff. And um, 
let's take a look at our Pokemon.txt now. So, Pokemon like Clefairy will now be Fairy type because we've added Fairy type to the game. That's another thing that's cool about updating to Gen 6. Let's see, yep, there it is. Cleffa is Fairy type, Igglybuff is normal Fairy, you know. Cool. It's been updated. So, now let's go and look at some of the other resources I was talking about. We've already, we're already almost done, by the way. We've got our sprites and we've got our PBS files that define all of our Pokemon. There are still a couple changes that need to be made. Um, one of them is you need to go into your graphics slash pictures, scroll all the way down. There is this thing here called types.png. We've now added fairy type to our game. So let's add fairy type to our types.png. I actually have added, I, 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 I've, I've collected, um, I've made a collection of resources that you can download, and um, I'll put that in the description as well. But essentially, extra resources here will have the types.png, that includes fairy type, as well as icons and cries for the Pokemon. Also, all of these resources that I've just described can be found in the Project Generation 6 by Medge 71, the, the version 15.1 release, the older one. These can all be found and downloaded in that as well, because you can, you can download this whole thing and um, kind of scrape it for resources. But yeah, credits to Medge71 there for all that good stuff. So, let's go and take all these extra resources and put them into our game. So types.png will replace our types.png. So let's take it, cool. Go to our Pokemon game again, go to our graphics, go to our pictures, and we can just paste it in and replace our old types.png. And now let's take a look at it. Now it looks more like a typical Gen 6 formatting. If you don't like it, you can definitely go and customize them and make your own. If you've been following my streams at all in Pokemon Title, I've, I've made my own custom one and it looks kind of cool. Um, but yeah, that's the basic general idea. So then another thing we need to do is go into our icons folder and add Pokemon icons for our new Pokemon that we've added to the game. Because this should only go up to Genesect still. Yeah, there it is. And I had that little Rowlet from before, but I'm deleting it now. Cool. So let's take our icons from the extra resources folder. And let's just copy all of them all the way down. Copy. Then go back into our game. Go back into our graphics. Go back into our icons. And we can just paste them all in. Cool. So this is all of our Gen 6 Pokemon icons. Now, one more thing needs to be done and then we will be done importing these. Uh, go to extra resources again, go to our cries. We need to get our cries for all of our Pokemon. All of our new Gen 6 Pokemon. And then go into our game again, go to our audio, go to our sound effects, go to our cries, and paste them in. Cool. I think I actually already had them pasted in just as a test from before, but yeah, here they all are now. So you can hear cries like uh, 721, which is Volcanion. Wowie zowie. Okay. Awesome. So now our game should have all of our Gen 6 Pokemon. So we should be able to launch it now and have a little look-see. So the first thing that should pop up is Elite Battle System saying, hey, there's some Pokemon that are in the wrong folder. So we can hit yes and it will auto-sort them. Yes. Thank you very much, Elite Battle System, for being amazing. Awesome. Alright, so I ran into a little bit of a hiccup there. I don't know what was going on. I think my Pokemon.txt wasn't updating properly, but now it has. And um, my Battlers folder does have... It's properly sorted and has all of my Pokemon in the correct sections. So that's nice. Elite Battle System took care of that. So now I can go into my game, do Add Pokemon. Scroll down a bit. I, want an, I really want a Greninja, so I want to... Track him down in this list. He should be right about... Oh, I missed him. There he is. There's our Greninja. Let's give ourselves like a level 55 Greninja. Nice. Let me... What's that? Cool. Alrighty. So, let's go to our Pokemon. Here's our Bidoof. As you can see, it's animated because it's using the Elite Battle System animations I talked about before. Our Greninja is not animated because we're using a still sprite. That is okay. But yeah, look, there's our Greninja. He's Water Dark type. There's our Bidoof. 
He knows all of his moves. He knows Water Shuriken. Pretty cool. And uh, let's also show off a Fairy-type Pokemon now. Let's use Debugs. And let's add a Pokemon... Let's add... I mean, I want to add a big, important Fairy-type Pokemon. So let's give ourselves Xerneas. Let's give ourselves a Legendary. 65, cool. Now let's take a look at him. So here's our Bidoof. Greninja, Xerneas. Xerneas is kind of huge and is kind of peeking above the uh, UI there. But yeah, he's in the game, and it's Fairy-type. Nice. Cool. So that is how you add Gen 6 Pokemon and uh, add a new type to the game. So we've added Fairy-type and some Gen 6 Pokemon. We've put our new sprites in. We've added our PBS files. We've updated all those. And one thing I want to briefly touch on, since I said I was going to do it earlier, is Gen 7 Pokemon. So there currently is no Gen 7 project. Uh, that has all the PBS files, but there is currently a uh, ongoing sprite uh, resource project, which I will link to in the description, which has all these Gen 7 Pokemon, um, and a lot of them are being worked on, and um, you can scroll over and see like whether there's animations or not, um, approved animations, cool. So you can take a look at all of them, they're, they're really nice, really good stuff. Um, but yeah, this is ongoing. If you want to make your own Pokemon, I have covered that in a previous tutorial video, so you can go into your Pokemon.txt and start adding these Gen 7 Pokemon if you want. Um, it will be kind of a, a struggle, but hey, making these Pokemon games is kind of tough sometimes, and uh, this will be one of those cases. I think in the future I might want to work on a Gen 7 PBS project similar to what Medge 71 did. Um, but I, want, I would want to do it strictly just for adding the Pokemon, not do a complete like Gen 6 update thing. But yeah, um, if you want to add Gen 7 Pokemon, it'll be a bit harder than adding Gen 6 Pokemon because there is no nice PBS collection. Uh, that said, one last thing I want to touch upon is I am working on a community Discord. Yeah, I notice a lot of people ask questions and a lot of people have trouble um, and they ask me in the comments, which you should, thank you for doing that. Um, but I want to make a more communal, a communal help section area. So, um, in the description, there will be a link to a Thundaga Discord, which you can join and you can ask me any questions you want. And I'll it'll be I'll probably be more responsive on the Discord than I am on YouTube comments, even though I try my hardest to be pretty responsive in the comments. But yeah, definitely join that Discord. Definitely don't hesitate to ask me any questions, as well as anyone else who joins the Discord. My idea is you can present a problem there, and everyone can help you out. I think that'll be pretty cool. So. Please do me a favor and join that, as well as do me a favor and subscribe if you haven't, as well as follow me on Twitch and Twitter, as well as have a good day, and uh, good luck in your Pokemon project that you're working on. Hopefully adding Gen 6 Pokemon helps you, and hopefully adding Fairy-type helps you, and hopefully this video helped you. I'll see you guys next time. Bye bye